they don't have lasso up. Radiant like frostbite and lasso. Yeah. And they're just gonna charge them down. Devourer. The moment is a little bit of a difference in this. Uh, which IG Vitality has a span pitch in. Maybe they need a. Not good tower hitter. Hello. <laughs> There's your flying vision. Jumping forward, but Kaka moves down. The keeper of the light, the old man. Is he blocked in by the creep? Yeah, that's a great three now, but the other side bouncing over. The keep coming there. But a kill already goes the way of Paparazzi. It's a kind of cool way to do it. Play that there's like, oh, I'm missing for a minute inside the jungle while Ember's missing as well. I guess there's probably way too many warning bells in flag space. A little bit tough on the spot. line does have that last zone. We drag you back to Venture Spirit, back through the Firefly and Fate. Even with the Stampede, he's unable to survive. APTP's in. But now there's nothing he can really do. U9 is on the hunt. Having a Hellbear with him, but they already got what they wanted, IG Vitality. The like, easy pick on the BS. A lot okay. more space. That's not scared. He's, he's scared, but I think Dogfights also understands the sound effect. Like, Kaka's a long way back. So even with the stun, Tamarazi, he's got the obvious nice available wolf, but it underneath the tower. He can't do what the normally do. You sit back and spam out ways to play the game. You want to you wanna be able to stall this out. Oh, now, Paparazzi fades with a swap. that's going to penetrate the Blade Fury. So Paparazzi has to go for a quick run. And Monkey King, oh no, it's Ember Spirit jumping in. Monkey King can't do anything. Just bouncing down through the trees, but it's super underneath the tower. Four heroes can take it up, but then a three-man stun, but it won't stop KP. Able to hit both the hooks, and then Paparazzi, it was just a straight run out, but SCC so quick on that rotation. That two for two as well, this rotation the bottom one. <laughs> he wants the TPR, that ain't gonna happen. Very quick and easy kill for IG. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Does he guess? Like there's there's a TP. Okay, there's multiple TPs coming in. So KP then beats a Balbo, so he's gonna jump and get the hooks off a double edge off. The only improvement is already holding in the juggernaut. They throw down the Monkey King ultimate. The Stampede will give them the speed to get out of it, however. AP will start the tick. Is there another stun of Verbal? Well, they do have it. It's the Cook Spade with the Frostbite, holding it down. Ninja Lion wants to keep going for more, but remember, he doesn't have that Blink Dagger. He went for the Drop Charge, which now comes back off cooldown. The Flame Break on Faith already has now five Nade Palm charges. The Luna will hit, but it's minimal damage. And Nubi will lose that. Each time it's almost a bit of a split attack because the other two heroes are smoked up and going towards the top lane. So it's SC as well as KP. So a quick hop up and double edge. Combined with the flame guard and searing chains, there's just no way for Batrider to run away. But he's just so tanky. The Batrider actually killing himself. It was the blade mail that was triggered. Takes so much of his life away. Dogfight's neighborhood. And maybe he can help out Paparazzi. But when he misses the stun, he cannot help Matt anymore. It's a bail. It's a runaway. Nubi are just moving down with the blade deck. And the blinding light actually actually pushed IGV into relative safety away from the astral imprisoned U9 Ursa. I just fights and just stop. Healing war. Possibly. <laughs> only gonna do so much. Uh, but this this kind of initiation is the best thing for IGV. So quick jump in, you go on faith, you go straight up counter, which is Vengeful Spirit. Blinding Light's not really gonna stop the attack from coming. With the death of the Vengeful, there's no reason. They could use the lead. They could just wait for it. Manalee plus getting hit by the first wave of terror, the stun. Manalee is still not doing enough. There's now the damage return. It's going to go super three heroes together. And the spirit goes in as well, but the lasso is just not enough work. The because it's, it's kind of a harsh thing to do. I know when nah, Ursus is already getting Ursus is generally like pretty self-sufficient. Pop your ulti for him. Oh, Kaka <laughs> can't run anywhere. Not when he's frostbitten up, so Stampede doesn't help him. That gets burnt down on bottom lane. Paparazzi goes for the spin, but it could jump. Five minutes, Merkmark. Get a hard. They're gonna find him. Pretty easily to over towards the left. It's just a quick pick on the earth. It's kind of funny considering it was U9 who was posturing first. Way better vision with the monkey. Yeah, he's not like, he's not super farmed, but he's still like super annoying. He's always in lane. Oh, Push out the lane. He dies but he's support. He's actually like doing no better than the keeper in putting out the lanes in that time. Flame Omni Slash, you're vulnerable, spin, you don't do anything. Great. 
Jaguar running up here. Team Paparazzi pops off, double edge, and then just a full on attack onto the Juggernaut. Didn't want to give him. Odie's a surprising bit of Dagon. You can, you can like Hurricane Python away and steal a good amount of the end. Comfort. Five months exploded on the bottom lane. Maybe didn't have, didn't have to use his ultimate for that, but he probably would have revealed the fact he has the Agadim Scepter up and running. SCC yes, he got the Look at the support. Everything comes in. The swap is there from space. So Paparazzi off his side to hit most of the illusions. And they do as much damage with the extra lockdown. Lasso keeping him in place. Plus the Vagal is the ulti go as well. Will it be enough damage? Super ST. He's ticking down quickly. He jumps away. He'll still end up going down to the Firefly of In July. But with the Ember Spirit down, the Juggernaut still up. U9 has to go on that run. That's that instill you're talking about. In July back to front line. Space just gets exploded by KP with the double hooks up. Holding both that OD and Batrider in position. With the OD improvement, they're making the odds a lot better here for IGB. Throwing down the old U9. Almost dead when he came back into one living. And then instantly was dead. KP wants out, but he will not get his wish. All five heroes from Newbie alone. Just got it. Yeah. Because he had the gem of true side in, in his quick fire, but I didn't see the rest. KP, quick pick. This is a good one if they can take out the OD. Dogfight brings in the stun face. Travel in his own. But then you got the Monkey King ulti down the last two. It holds in U9. Just after you build the ultimate, the swap will be there. Creates a little bit of space too, but dying to the blade mail of SCC. They knew that was going to come eventually, but still they haven't locked it down yet. Crystal Maiden will buy back. KP and Dogfight so close. The OD and the Earth are the captains of war. KP will make it a second. Killing off that Monkey King with the Blade Mount Trump protection for Paparazzi in the spin. They want KP slowed down the flame break a little bit too high, but you've got the Frostbite. That'll cancel off the summon to the TP of KP. So he's forced to stay in the engagement. ST, the plate battles up once again. Paparazzi just wants to run away from this one. Maybe he can up the side of Fist. The urn will take him out from Faith. But at this time, it's Newbie who are winning the team fight in July back into the relative safety of his home. Under the cover of his own shrine. They realize the big problem is the OD. OD. <laughs> the plate fell up. In July knows. Like he's, he's trying to stall this up so Juggernaut doesn't have to use his buyback and Nubi doesn't want to attack mid racks. Yeah. No, but, but you do you do keep the mid racks alive. Also control, followed up by Frostbite. Make it so the KP's open doesn't do anything. And you can see KP, okay. You might see KP being initiated on it just a second. The end of the room is one of the four to two nine. Focus again on the king. No ulti from him, but Unai has taken a fair chunk of damage with the bash, the slow. Crystal Maid has to keep him slowed up as well. U9 on the run out. The Illumina's gonna fly in just a second. And then any of his targets, and in fact it's it's like a tar. He's the one that drops the ulti down, so the vengeful spirit's down. U9 will come back alive again. The drop fight holds him down, KP tries to create more space. The hooks off the double edge, push up. OG has to defend the imprison while the Omni Slash does minimal damage. They last one can call up U9. He is going down. Paparazzi needs to be the man up right now. Newbie, they still want the kill off. Can they get it? Super TP down, leaves his juggernaut alone to spin and TP as well. OD will have buyback and we'll see if Newbie. The Solar Crest on is so good. Oh, the jump. Solar Crest, protect me! Pitchful Spirit. Dead very quickly. I don't really care. They go on me. I have 4200 HP and a heart. Right? Just a nice little one to potentially just flip him. But okay, they drop the ulti. The skill the intelligence. KP, he wants to get out. No, he won't. The ulti slash is going to be right on top of him. 85 seconds down. Faith safe will not be able to function here. And oh that God. is Newbie losing to Dope. They actually do slip through the back lines. Are they going to control this? They're going to get there. Oh, there's Ember Spirit jumping in. SC, they want to go on him. A quick jump out. KP gets a double hook up on the juggle as well as the OD with the side of Fist. But turn on their blade mouse now. But with the with the ultimates, will it be enough? Faith is just burning out with the only side doing his work. But the damage is still so heavy on IG Vitality. The Shrine has already been burnt. Illuminous Gems giving a little bit more sustain, but the BKP is going to wear off too. SC jumping in and out, chasing the OD. He throws the ulti down, but ends up killing himself. I think it was the Blade Mail. He just killed himself on. Paparazzi won't survive as well. Three heroes lost. Dogfights on the run. You got the Battle Rider. OD doesn't. They weren't able to pop the run. Come back live. The OD has fought back already with the BKB. And the Sand is trying to defend the Prisoner. Trying to help keep that Monkey King alive. This newbie will start to bail out. So they did they take out the tier 3 tower on the bottom lane, but no raxing still done by newbie. 
running back. She's definitely running back. Everyone's missing. They're observable what's on the northern side of the map. Fighting oh, Vitalio the amp in the quick extra stun. Into my jumps down. The ulti is down. But Thrones lose the juggernaut so quickly. No buyback to Barbel. He's down for 90 seconds. He pulled the butterfly with Keeper of the Light dropping. And Sakata finding enough damage as well. He's gonna steal that intel, giving him a lot of power. Sandy's Eclipse is available. Nubi have to give this respect. So Monkey King will buy back. He doesn't have his ultimate available, but SC jumps in deeper. The shrine will be triggered. Super with the control, not break free. Super keeps that slow going. Sakata needs to keep the kiting going as well. Super with a cape up. They can't see him, they can't kill him. Heal back up and get back to front lines. The ODO people will pop. And will they actually get anything apart from the Aegis? The Immortal has heavy damage onto SC, but the problem is the Hex up OD. The Pike, he doesn't get him back inside the base. U9 trying to force the issue, but now he's imprisoned up as well. Right in front of the fountain, they still haven't claimed the rack. The Flame Ring pushing an U9 closer. He'll move back, remember the objective base gaming. But OD must be ready to hit like a truck because 72 intelligence he's currently buffed up on. So he will hit hard if they can only keep that control there. But KP looks for his own control with the hooks on Blumen Cape. They get the energy the target. Now they will get the true side moving forward from the Keeper of the Light. Katar will fall. There's no buyback. 100 seconds without him. That may be the game right there. And in fact, it is. Nubi will take it. IG Vitality. One game down in the first, but Nubi looking pretty damn good here in the first game of this two-game series, taking just over 50 minutes. The two open doors.